Some influential Tulsans asking Mayor Dewey Bartlett not to continue with plans for retail development at a popular spot along the river parks. Two Works to reporter Kessler McLaughlin is live with why they want to keep the park a natural space. Kessler. Karen, uh, former Tulsa Mayor Terry Young tells me that the original intention of Helmrich Park was to be just that, a park, nothing else. The greening and the regreening and the, the keeping of the green in Tulsa is an important attraction. Terry Young was Tulsa's mayor from 1984 to 1986. Now he's leading a group opposed to developing Helmrick Park. And so any disposition of that land has to follow the city's procedures for selling public property. He says by developing the area, the city is violating two city ordinances passed in 1991 specifically designating the space as a park. And both of those ordinances specifically say to, that the money was to acquire park land. And those ordinances are still on the book. The land was originally purchased with a third penny sales tax and wealthy donors, including a man named Walt Helmrich, the park's namesake. Walt Helmrich does not, did not expect that to be commercially developed. But that's contrary to what Mayor Dewey Bartlett believes. At the time he did that, it was his desire that the land be eventually uh, uh, be available for development. Mayor Bartlett was a city councilor when the ordinance was passed. I would want to make certain that that does occur because I don't want to have that uh, have the authority <coughs> to take away the, uh, the, the rights of citizens of Tulsa use as a park. Whatever I did say at some point in time, uh, if there's no uh, legal documents to back up whatever was supposed to have been said, then uh, that's a whole different story. As to why he's changing his position. Uh, but at that point, I was a city councilor representing a point of view, and the mayor now, a whole different perspective. As for Young and the city potentially breaking the law. If we need to prove that point uh, uh, before a judge, we may have to do that. Young says the third penny sales tax used to purchase the land was earmarked only for public parks. He says if Helmrich and the city council, including Dewey Bartlett, wanted the space for commercial purposes, they would have worded the ordinance that way. Now, coming up tonight at 6, hear what Mayor Bartlett says will decide the fate of the park itself. Reporting live at Helmrich Park, Kessler McLaughlin, Two Works for You.